Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother, and today I'm going to show you how to play Escape from the Hidden Castle by Amigo. It's for two to eight players, ages seven and up, and today we're actually showing you how to play the original version of the rules for the game that was called Midnight Party, which this is a reprint of, and it takes about 15 minutes to play. The goal of the game is to end with the most points. This is a four player game and everybody starts with four people and you take turns placing them around the board, wherever you like. Your goal is to get them into these chambers to safety as you play the game. And if you look and say, these two are virtually identical colors, which is kind of ridiculous and you're required to use these two colors if you're playing a game with three or more players, which is very silly. I don't know why they're basically the same. Uh, we're planning on taking a Sharpie to ours uh, so they're easier to tell apart. So you place all your people around the board and then you put the phantom in the bottom of the dungeon and you take turns rolling the die and people get to move. So if yellow is first, one, two, three, four, five. And anytime the phantom is rolled, he gets to move up three spots. And you take turns, each person rolls the die, and you can't move into a chamber to escape from the phantom until he's been rolled three times and he comes out of the dungeon and all the guests know that the phantom has arrived and they're trying to run to safety. And that's when they roll, they're trying to roll numbers and then they can get into a room or a chamber and they are safe there. The phantom cannot get them. You do not need an exact roll to get into a chamber. If this person wants to go in here and they've rolled a five, they can do that. But then a key thing is if yellow rolls a four, they can't go and join this person in this chamber. It's only one person per chamber. And after that, if the phantom is rolled, he moves three, one, two, he would capture this person. You can grab him with the little grabby thing at the bottom. And he goes down to the bottom of the dungeon and um, play proceeds. Uh, if two people can be on the same spot. So if these two people are on the same spot, the phantom came up, oh, he captured this guy. If he captures two people, then they go to the same spot in the dungeon. You will notice that there are different points uh, here. Interestingly enough, the person with the highest points wins and usually you win and you have a negative number. So if you go through and this person goes to safety, this person, people got into chambers, but a bunch of people got caught. Um, that's how this game panned out. You then add up your totals and whoever has the highest value wins. There are a couple rooms that have negative points. And there are a couple rooms that have positive points. Those are impact your score and you just total it up. Officially, you're supposed to play three rounds to see who the winner is, but we usually just play one or two rounds, whatever um, we have time for, whatever the group wants to do. The Midnight Party version of Escape from the Hidden Castle is very easy to play and a great social game. We hope you check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.